A new innovation to control air temperatures could cut energy consumption at Ung Teng Fong General Hospital by 20%. Now that's enough to power 350 four-room HDB flats for a year. This was one of the new projects that was awarded a $50,000 prize for its sustainability solutions for the Jurong Lake District. Now, in total, eight projects were announced winners of the Jurong Lake District Innovation Challenge. For instance, this team from a research and development center at Nian Polytechnic. They are the brains behind the temperature control idea. Their project uses artificial intelligence to maintain the coolness of a room according to the activity that is taking place within it. It also has the potential for huge energy savings. For example, you have a rehab centre and you're going to be exercising, right? So as you're exercising, you're going to be generating heat. Now the system that we have developed will be able to accommodate that increase in metabolic rate to account for that kind of increase due to the exercise activity going on. Hospitals contribute to climate change. Uh, because these are uh, energy intensive facilities, uh, they operate around the clock. Right? And of course, the environmental footprint is harmful to the ecosystem. The partnership with this winning team will allow us to optimize the energy efficiency, uh, reduce carbon emissions. Winners were chosen out of a pool of over 100 submissions from startups, companies, and research institutes. Other award recipients include an application that provides information on walking routes to encourage drivers to use their cars less. Another aims to make waste disposal more efficient. Turning this vision or this vision statement into reality is an ambitious undertaking. It is not something that we as government planners can achieve on our own. For Jurong Lake District to lead the way in urban sustainability, we will need innovative solutions to produce greener and cleaner infrastructure.